Tom here from Lawrence Systems, and if you want to do more than, you know, just turn it on and off again, you need some IT training. So we're going to talk about IT Pro TV and the review of their product itself, something we've actually been using for a long time. If you want to learn more about me and my company, head over to lawrencesystems.com. If you would like to hire a short project, there's a hire us button up at the top. If you'd like to support this channel other ways, some affiliate links down below to get you deals and discounts on products and services we talk about this channel. And yes, there is one for IT Pro TV, and that's where I wanted to start. And why do I say it like that? Well, there's an affiliate link and there's a sponsored video. Those are two types of sponsorships that you generally see people on like YouTube or podcasts or whatever media we're creating. Um, you'll find people sponsoring us. I do not get sponsored by IT Pro TV, but I do have an affiliate link. Now the difference is sponsored means they threw money at me to say this and say nice things about them. Affiliate links means I have a deal I can give you. You use that link, you get a discount. Um, I get a cut of that and everybody wins. You get some training at a discount. I get some affiliate commissions based on how many people click on it. And you start using IT Pro TV, which is a great service. Now, I want to say it like that too, because someone's going to say, but you're just biased because you have an affiliate account. And that's why I'm so upfront. I'd like to be as transparent possible on this channel. If anyone sponsors a video, it will say if the video is sponsored. If I was given something like a company sent me a product to review, I say it was sent in review uh, by such and such company and free NAS and Unifier are great examples of that they've sent me devices to review and some of which I get to keep. So my bias, if there is one, yeah, okay, we're all biased a little bit, I guess. I try to be as factual as possible, but I just want to make sure that's disclosed before I, I don't want to say it at the end of the video. That way maybe you go, I don't want to watch a guy who's got an affiliate link. I want someone who doesn't have an affiliate link to tell me about IT Pro TV. So make that decision for yourself and let's dive into what is IT Pro TV. So IT training you'll want to watch. That's one of their slogans or binge worthy content. Um, I really do like it. We were using them for quite a while prior to me saying, hey, let's reach out to them and see if we can do an affiliate link. I actually signed up with Leo Laporte's affiliate link. He spoke very highly of them and seems to think they're doing a good job. Now they were fans, Don here, uh, of the back in the day, for those of you that have been in tech, was got some gray hair like myself, of IT uh, Tech TV. So IT Pro TV was this concept going, hey, that tech TV thing you guys were doing, Leo, that was pretty awesome. So they were fans of Leo when he was on Tech TV, just like I was. I miss those early days when that was a great tech channel um, and all of us nerds rejoiced at its existence and then we all cried when it died. Um, but that happens, life moves on. Now the trainings move to online. Now, I have this discount code, but we will talk about pricing. Now, this is pricing as of April 2020, so don't um, consume this is the pricing right now, whatever right now is for you. But their monthly fee for the full video library is only 29 bucks a month. Their ad labs and tests, only another $20 at $49 a month. Starter pack, uh, $0. The other thing you can do is they do have a free seven day trial. Um, you could stay up 16 hours a day, times seven, and pour a lot of information in your head for this there. If, if that was really your goal, I think that would probably be a terrible idea. But um, you could try it and really heavily review it before you commit your $29. They actually, it's kind of cool that they give you the first seven days for free and the limited video library you got is a great way just to assess it. So I'm just saying you can definitely um, learn a lot from it. And they have, and we'll just run down a few of the features, their daily live broadcast, uh, lots of select free content, iOS app, Android app, Apple TV, and Roku. So you can watch it on you know whatever device you want. Uh, access to on-demand course library, live chat with hosts and other members, uh, post questions and respond in a Q&A form, download course video audio, uh, that's with the annual membership only, so you can have it local, access to uh, Dev Pro, Office Pro TV, Creator Pro TV, and Biz Pro, that's uh, with your standard, and take practice tests is kind of an interesting one that you're only going to get with the premium, uh, but launch premium virtual labs. These are really cool on the virtual labs and we'll cover that last, but that's a really neat feature. Now, also I have as a business owner using this. So if you're coming at it, not from an individual learning side, but as a business owner side, yes, they do have uh, different business plans. So training for business, which does include as well, uh, the ability to track all your staff, give them assignments and say, these are the things I want you to do. These are the things you work on and then track their progress to it. So it's got an entire nice dashboard for managing all that. So if you are someone running, 
um, a business like myself and I do have my staff in here and I do, you, you, you can uh, suggest that they do training all the time, uh, but sometimes people need to be trained on something specific. So uh, assigning your technicians um, a class makes a lot of sense because training is where it's at. All right, let's dive into a different account that I have logged in here that's not mine. So you can look at it from completely from the side of a user. And what user did I create? My son, uh, Marcus. So I decided that Marcus should, because he's not in school right now due to the things going on in April of 2020, I decided that he should go through some IT training on here. He's 13 years old. And I also wanted his feedback because I have my feedback as an IT person, um, but I wanted someone who's never done working in IT. And my son says, you know, it's not watching his gamers like uh, he's used to. It's not quite as exciting as that, but he is enjoying it and learning quite a bit and starting to get some of the fundamentals down, uh, which I think is great. What do they have in terms of courses? Let's just jump there. They have, you're getting started. Uh, Cisco, AWS, Big Data, Biz Pro TV, just a lot of other things in here. Virtualization skills, Six Sigma. So it's kind of a combination of not only uh, skills for learning tech, but some of the business related skills for getting a job. I think that's really cool that they've got that. I've not reviewed much of their business stuff. I have done their courses on things I know is how I started because that was my way of evaluating whether or not they were any good. Because if I took a thing I knew and went through the course on it, I would have a better idea of whether or not they were accurate. And I do enjoy it. I thought they did a great job on there. Um, they keep it very serious, not boringly serious, but I will say that they are very on point, no shenanigans. I say that because this is something I try to do on my channel. When I do a tutorial, I follow through and you know, try to keep it right to the point, walk through each step. Uh, some people I've seen insert a bunch of silliness in between, I guess, to maybe keep you entertained. But to me, if you go too far into that, I don't mind being not serious or joking at the beginning or end or having silly names when I name a server, uh, but focused is the important part. So I'm not distracted during the interview, at least during the review process or tutorial process that I'm doing. The, you can sort by certification. You can sort by your job role. So these are all the different categories and options that you have on here. And then of course you can just jump up to the top and search. So if we want to learn about Linux, SSH, or uh, Linux security, let's dive into something like that. You can just search over here. Uh, risk management frameworks. That's actually a pretty good one there. Uh, Linux essentials. All right, that sounds good. Cybersecurity. And of course, we, we could just go back and, uh, well, we'll click on one of them here. And away it comes up like going through the entire risk management framework and each one, all 10 minutes, 41 seconds, prepare for the course. And they have each trainer. And their trainers are really good. Everything's been great. So let's look a little bit closer at a course or a specific one, like let's go through the Linux command line. And you see, we've got getting started, terminal and shells, et cetera, et cetera. Each one of these has show notes down here at the bottom. So these are notes. You can copy paste things back and forth. You could just download the notes as a PDF. Now, the other really neat things is, and we'll go over here. Like I said, it supports Roku, Chrome, and everything else. We got the Chromecast right from here. The thing I like is, we'll go over here, is I have transcription turned on. And you notice everyone's going really fast. That's because you can go here and set the speed. I talk fast. I'm trying to talk a little bit slower for this review, but I generally prefer to talk fast. And it's also out of habit of listening everybody talk fast because I listen to so many things at 2x. Uh, so that's definitely a thing. Now, the transcript is really interesting here because it's not only a transcript, it has highlighting as they're going. So this is running up here at the top the video itself is at the very top and it's going through and transcribing and, and highlighting each section of the transcription. This makes it, if you're maybe even a non-English speaker, but you read English well, or you're not sure what they said um, for any particular reason, you can get the entire transcript of every one of these, which is just incredible that they have all this on there. Like I said, they've really done a much more extensive job on training than I've seen some of the other systems do. Um, I'm, but I have not done, just because someone's going to ask me about every other one out there, I've not done an extensive review of every system out there, but I do really like the presentation style. I like the fact that they zoom in on each of the commands. They make things very clear. And of course, everything is right here on the screen if you turn on closed captioning so you can watch each part of it. Now, practice tests. These are important if you plan to get certified. Certifications are sometimes the uh, gatekeeper from getting a job. That's just a fact of things, whether or not you have different feelings and whether or not those certifications are valid. Some certifications are easy. Some of them are very difficult. And in the early days of tech, I will admit, 
they weren't always that valuable. Um, we used to have the joke called, you know, little paper MCSEs, people who got their certified professional but didn't know how to do anything. That was a common problem. I will say certifications over the last 20 years that I've worked in technology have gotten substantially better. It's also, like I said, a way many businesses, they go, at least if you went through the trouble of this certification, you've gone through some levels of training because saying, hey, I know computers, I know how to fix the cloud. Can you just hire me to be your cloud engineer? That's not an easy way to get a job. They're looking for some experience and credentials on there. Now, hands-on learning is where it's at. This is something that means a lot to me. I do have this, hey, fun lab and all the stack of equipment back here. This is a feature that, to me, for the price, is pretty outstanding they include this on there. I will tell you, I spend more, even though it's a bunch of you know parts I put together sometimes in old servers, you'll spend more versus all the labs you'll get trying to buy all this and trying to build your own lab. Not to mention, sometimes standing up the lab can be hard. And I'm not discouraging anyone who wants to build a lab. Amazing if you have the uh, skills and time to do it. Uh, but if you're focused on training and you are working on being a cloud engineer, um, you need access to a cloud lab that simulates something that you've got set up. Well, that's what this is right here. They have a really slick amount of uh, virtual labs in here. And it's all included with your higher end subscription course. But if this is something you want, they have it all done in a browser, builds out everything else. And let's find a uh, good Linux lab in here and spin one up. So let's install SQL Age Service. Uh, let's jump over to this one right here. Launch hard disk layout. That sounds cool. This was a lab for the CompTIA Linux. And we'll go ahead and what do we want here? Default, yeah, high contrast, that's fine. We'll go ahead here and we'll do this all in real time as we speak here. And um, let's see, let's power it on. And close uh, this, select your lab guide, go through here. You kind of get the idea that it's pretty fast here and we're watching it step by step, spin up, takes about, um, that long to spin up the lab and get going. It's all done right here in your browser. And we'll go ahead and press Center, and it's going to boot up this uh, lab demo for CompTIA Lint, designing hard disk layouts, and away we go. Pretty straightforward for building it. Now I didn't have to build any virtual machines or anything else like that. They take care of it. Uh, they have restart, start over again. Oh, look, it's acting funny. There we go. Now it's booted up. Hey, look, we have a... Uh, my own, here we go, my own CentOS install, so I'm ready to start playing around with it and following the guide from the training I just did so I can learn how to implement and actually hands on the keyboard, try it. And of course, the first step is regurgitating what you learned and just typing the same commands. The second step in learning is more frequently. All right, now we're going to see how I can customize it myself and having a lab is way better than breaking your own machines for sure. These aren't, yeah, here we go. Tools and resources. Ooh, they have an intranet and everything. This is interesting. I haven't, I never even opened the browser in there. I've just gone through. I don't use the virtual labs as much because we have our own lab. I know my staff has used them uh, more than I have for some of the Cisco training they were doing and learning. Well, the last couple things I want to cover on IT Pro TV is Q&A forum. So they do have a general discussion forum where you can have discussions. They do have the on air, which is cool, which I believe right now because it's uh, 9.43 a.m. They should, yeah, they get their live show going. So this is... Fun to, uh, wow, Hijacker hijacks YouTube accounts to broadcast Bill Gates-themed crypto Ponzi scheme. That's interesting. Um, they do cover the news and uh, rapid fire questions, who got pwned, some great conversations you can have in here. So it's very much like a similar to a live YouTube stream as well. Their staff is very knowledgeable. I've been on their podcast as well. Uh, great, great bunch of people. And then they have the learning coach system down here at the bottom to help you with the coach's playbook for getting certified job resources uh, and talk to some of them. They've got they've thought a lot about how to make sure that this is a good experience from top to bottom. So my review of both as a user, and yes, I know people say I'm biased because there's an affiliate link, but uh, I'm really happy with IT Pro TV. It's been good for my staff. It's been good to assign learning to them. They have found it very helpful. I have found it helpful. I went and done some of the courses myself. I mean, I don't know everything, it's really, really difficult to know everything or keep up with things. Uh, so sometimes just going through and picking out some of the course outlines, I just went through because I'll admit it, 
I am not good at using, I'm, I'm a var log message guy more so than the journal control messages. So I knew how to use them in basic, but they're, they have some good training on it. I just went and watched that one yesterday. And uh, thanks, Don. Uh, that helped me get a little better at it. I've just been uh, such a long time Linux user, you get used to using var log messages. And anyways, uh, I found their training to be accurate. Like I said, watching things, um, no problem following along and setting it up and uh redoing some of my scripts that I should have redone a while ago that were looking in Varlog messages that could have easily, I didn't remember all the different filter commands for journal control. So that's a good one to start if you're um, wanting to start there. Or if you are new to Linux, start at journal control instead of Varlog messages because journal control is the newer way, but then someone's going to have an argument about system D and uh, you can learn both. There's the best part. And they have training on both all the system D functions and all the older and how to do messages. I'm overall really happy with IT Pro TV. How's that? Um, their training's been great. I may do some of their business training because I find it kind of interesting. And uh, now that I have a salesperson, I may see what he thinks of it. I, he's not gone through uh, any of the training on here at all because I mostly think of it as a technical thing. But they do have all the business training as well, which I think is fascinating. So uh, leave my affiliate link if you'd like to use it. If you just want to sign up for IT Pro TV and say, screw that time guy, I don't want to help him out, that's fine too. Um, they got a, a great team over there and signing up for their services is you know, like I said, I think it's a good thing. So my review is a uh, thumbs up on IT Pro TV. All right, thanks. And thank you for making it to the end of the video. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more content from the channel, hit the subscribe button and hit the bell icon if you like YouTube to notify you when new videos come out. If you'd like to hire us, head over to lawrencesystems.com, fill out our contact page, and let us know what we can help you with and what projects you'd like us to work together on. If you want to carry on the discussion, head over to forums.lawrencesystems.com where we can carry on the discussion about this video, other videos, or other tech topics in general, even suggestions for new videos. They're accepted right there on our forums, which are free. Also, if you'd like to help the channel out in other ways, head over to our affiliate page. We have a lot of great tech offers for you. And once again, thanks for watching and see you next time.